ISTQB Advanced Level Test Analyst. Question 6. You are working on a project that has several levels of testing. The functional testing will be done by test analysts who are experienced with the project. They will be using existing test cases plus experience-based testing to conduct their testing. You have been asked to write the test cases that will be used for regression testing and UAT. An outsourced test team will be used for regression testing and uh, they are not familiar with the product although they are familiar with testing in general. The business users will be conducting UAT and are experts in their areas. Because of the criticality of the project, there must be documented test cases for the UAT, but the business users should be given the latitude to vary the data and actual steps in the business process being tested. Given this information, which type of test cases should be written? A. Concrete test cases for both regression testing and UAT. B. Logical test cases for both regression testing and UAT. C. Concrete test cases for regression testing and logical test cases for UAT. D. Logical test cases for regression testing and concrete test cases for UAT. Take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to don't miss new ISTQB questions and answers that will help you guaranteed and chancing your skills. Join us on this learning journey. You can click on pass to choose your own answer before you see the correct answer on the screen. To answer this question, we need to understand differences between concrete and logical test cases. Concrete or low-level test cases are used then. Testing staff is less experienced. Worries need the excellent reproducibility. Specific information and procedures needed for the testers to execute the test cases. Logical or high-level test cases are used then. Testing staff is more experienced. There is need to increase coverage. Need to vary the actual data or even the procedure. We will see theory about low-level and high-level test cases in the explanation section of this video. Please carefully read the wording of question. At first, we can see the business users will be conduction UAT are experts in their areas. It means that these testers are domain experts and know what needs to test. Also, the business users should be given the latitude to vary the data and actual steps in the business processes being tested. It means that these testers need flexibility on how need to test. In this case, they are necessary to use logical test cases. For example, check lists. At second, we can see an outsourced test team will be used for regression testing and they are not familiar with their product, although they are familiar with testing in general. It means that these testers are not product knowledge at all and do know what needs to test and familiar with testing in general and weak know 
how need to test. In this case, it is necessary to use concrete test cases. For example, very good steps for reproduce and detailed test cases. It is possible for junior team. All these conclusions lead us to correct answer C. Concrete test cases for regression testing and logical test cases for UAT. All the rest of the answers are wrong. Answer A and B are wrong because we should divide it, test cases by logical and concrete types in connection with different type of expertise in the different teams. Answer D is wrong because is vice versa answer C. Explanation. Let's look at the section 1.4.1 low level and high level test cases in the ISTQB syllabus. I suggest you figure out with it on your own to understand the differences between concrete or low level test cases and logical or high level test cases. This question is not difficult for you. I do think that you are incredibly talented person and it would be ridiculously easy for you to answer such kinds of questions. And passing ISTQB certified tester advanced level test analyst exam will not be a dream, but a reality. Never give up.